Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. You re may remember me speaking about this film in a pickups video a while ago called Dick's Beer. I've since watched it twice. Just to jog your memory, I'm at the thrift store a few months back with my buddy Tim. We're looking around. Um, I had come across this and I'm like, what is this? It looks like a bootleg. And I think I had seen it once there prior but it happened to be on sale this time. So I, I looked at it a little closer. Looks like a bootleg, you know, printed out cover. Obviously somebody made this in their house. And then I open up the case and it's a pressed disc. So I'm like, wow, they put a lot of like effort into this thing and it looks practically new. So I bring it up to the counter. I think it's one of these items on here. It was either $1.36 or 95 cents. I don't know, there was a sale. Bring it home and watch it. So here's my little review. And, and the other thing I want to mention is I live on Long Island in New York. This was filmed and made by a bunch of friends in Fargo and Moorhead in Minnesota. I have no idea how this ended up on Long Island. I can only presume somebody purchased it along the way, moved, and then gave up their DVD collection to this thrift store. Don't mind the little hole in my shirt. Sorry about that. Figure it would go along with the... Uh, the nice kind of trashy vibe of this film. So, um, the movie pretty much is about this group of friends. They're like, um, kind of like mall rats type of people or, uh, what's, you know, like, um, slackers, I guess is the best way for me to put it. And, uh, they're all hanging out and they're, they're getting drunk all the time and smoking pot and whatever else. And, they come up with the idea that they want to go to the Virgin Islands and they decide to make a beer called Dick's Beer and distribute it to the locals to try and get enough funding to go to the Virgin Islands. Um, there's a couple jokes throughout the film that sort of hit a little bit, sort of like witty, uh, but overall I found the movie to be really dumb. Um, I apologize. I know it's a low budget film made by a bunch of friends. So I, I, I definitely give you kudos for your hard work. Um, but most of the humor didn't hit for me. There's this one scene where there's this cop and his name is Steven Seagal and he's in a room and all the people are sort of mocking him and referencing Steven Seagal films. So look, it's cute. It's kind of funny in a way. Some of the characters in the film were a little annoying. Um, this dude sort of bothered me. The heavy set dude with the beard. Sorry if you're watching this. Um, this guy looks a little bit like... Um, can't think of the actor's name. I think he was in Party of Five. Yeah, I can't think of his name. He was a twin, and he was very popular in the early 2000s. But uh, this is a 2003 film. Um, lots of cursing. Lots of juvenile humor. Obviously, the name, name of the movie is Dick's Beer. That's the brand of the beer they're trying to make. Initially, and I, I couldn't grasp this right away because I was kind of dazing in and out. They're trying to mix Bud and Bud Light and then call it Dick's Beer. I don't know if they eventually go that route or make their own. But I think they steal beer and then or steal something and then make their own beer. I so, It sort of lost me at points. Um, the major problem with this movie, and again, I, I give them a great deal of credit for making this and putting it on a press disc, is... The major problem with it for me is the audio. The audio is either extremely loud or very low. So while my son was asleep, I was trying to watch it and I'd raise the volume because I couldn't hear the speech. And then it would get extremely loud and you'd hear like yelling and cursing like really loud. And then it would get really low again. So it's like they didn't know how to, I guess, adjust. And I don't either. They didn't know how to adjust their frequencies or whatever with their audio levels. So everything should kind of be like this, but it really jumps all over the place. So very hard to watch. A lot of the audio you hear is blown out. There's no subtitles, obviously, with a low-budget film like this. So while you're watching, you really need to pay attention to what's going on. Luckily, the plot is fairly simplistic. Um, the local uh, DEA, I think, or uh, FBI, whoever it is, think that they're making meth, not beer. So they crack down on them. That's the gist of the film. Um, again, lots of little set pieces with comedy, making fun of this guy that is into Star Wars that 
dates one of the guy's girlfriends. She leaves him and dates the Star Wars nerd. And he's like this really small nerdy guy. So there is some humor to it. Um, but it's definitely probably a period in time type of film and a locale, you know, a regional type of film where these people from Minnesota probably think, you know, at the time that this was very funny. They made it with a group of friends and they put in their effort and they, you know, I think it said on some article online they they uh, charged four dollars and like rented out a place or something and showed everyone the film and you know I'm sure everyone had a really good time but nowadays um, some of the humor just wasn't as fun uh, it was very try hard and I just felt like the story was kind of bland and, and boring um, it's an okay movie it's it's nothing I would really recommend uh, I just find it to be a really big oddity that I found this press disc with this bootleg cover out here on Long Island. I did reach out to some of the people in the movie on Facebook. Some of them did not get back to me. One of them responded, I think, months and months ago when I got this, and he was very concerned as to if I knew him and, like, sort of why was I showing him this. And I'm like, because you're in the movie and I found it. He's like, well, are you from Minnesota? I'm like, no, I'm trying to tell you. I'm from, like, across the country. I have no idea how this ended up here, but, like, tell me about it, and he didn't really divulge too much, and then he said he would reach out to some of the other actors and tell them I found their movie, but I never heard anything else after that, so I do have some messages out on Facebook to the creators of the film. It was a cute little movie. If you're, like, into slacker comedies, you'll probably like it, but it just didn't do too much for me. This one I might eventually give away to a friend or keep, who knows, but... I usually say, let me know if you've seen Dick's Beer, but I don't think anyone's ever seen this film if you're out of outside of Fargo and Moorhead, Minnesota. So uh, if you're from there and you've heard of this, please chime in. I would love to hear it. And if you are uh, Derek Brewer or Dustin Ness, please chime in. I would like to hear more about your inspiration for this film. Hopefully I wasn't too harsh. I thought it was all right. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.